So I was just sitting here minding my own business, and then I looked outside my back door, and I see... Why not? You say so. Did I play, uh, Quinn? No, Quinn. What's that book? Is my neighbor Quinn. spying on me? So yeah, I know the vlog is late again this week, so sue me. But uh, yeah, I just I didn't get really get to it this weekend. There was a lot of other stuff going on on my mind. And uh, yeah, but uh, you know, really last week, um, the biggest thing that happened last week was I got a new cat. Uh, of course, uh, he's an older cat. He's about nine years old and uh, his name is Sigma. And the reason why I wanted to get an older cat is just because Roxy was already old, you know, er. So I wanted to get a cat that was more around her age. And it took a good week, but they, they're definitely getting along now, which is nice. Now, the only other thing that's really happening is I spent eight hours sitting in a cubicle waiting to see if my higher ups would decide if uh, my position is essential or not, or if I'm going to be working from home because of the whole coronavirus thing. Uh, after the eight hours of today, um, Nothing was decided, so I still have to come in tomorrow, normal time, to probably sit around for another eight hours, because we're also on spring break here on campus that's been extended by two weeks. So there's not really any work to do on top of that. So that's kind of a baffling thing. To be honest, I kind of hope that I get to work from home, just because, you know, there's some stuff that I can work on around the house while I'm also doing my main job, which I think would be really beneficial to get moving forward as I have the house to myself for the next six weeks, because. Claire got another gig up in uh, Alaska for six weeks, so she's as far away from all this madness that's going on here as she could possibly be, so good for her. <laughs> but, but of course, the real bad part about all this coronavirus stuff and all the scares and all the cancellations and all that stuff is USL soccer, isotopes, all those sporting events, they've been delayed until further notice, which really sucks for me and all my employees because we're losing out on tons of money. <laughs> Which kind of sucks because, you know, after all that budgeting I did at the beginning of this month and it was all looking really positive, now I gotta go back and rework everything again because now all I have is just my main job and a little bit of work that I'll be doing at the studio, the money that I'll make from that. Speaking of which though, because of all those cancellations and stuff like that, uh, we are gonna be working on the studio more since that is at least a venue we can be at that is not being shut down by the coronavirus or by any you know rules or regulations in the city or the state. So we'll probably be doing a lot of work on that over the next couple of weeks just to get us a real kind of good solid month of working on that, not having to worry about any other events. But we'll see. The big part that bugs me about all this is just how people are reacting to it. It's like buying out toilet paper and buying out water and buying out like all this stuff, but some of their decisions don't make any sense. Buying out potatoes. Like, are they planning on planting those potatoes? Because if they're not, those go bad within like a week. I, I, go, I go to the grocery store and there's no orange juice, but there's plenty of oranges, like actual oranges. Like, okay, guys, really? What the heck? And then the other funny part is when you go to Walmart, um, great value cereals, like uh, Marshmallow Mateys and all those off-brand things, completely sold out. But Frosted Flakes, Honey Nut Cheerios, all that stuff, still there. <laughs> So apparently people are in a panic to spend money, but not in a full panic to spend a little bit more money for the better stuff. <laughs> but you know, what can I do? Humanity is going to continue to be stupid. I mean, history is doomed to repeat itself because nobody ever pays attention to it. So I just got to sit back and wait it out and hopefully it dies down soon because I'm not at all concerned about it, but it's really making my life boring because I can't go out and do anything because of the stupidity of other people. So. You know, once that all dies out, then I can get back to what I was doing. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all I got going on this week. That's pretty much all I have going on right now. And, uh, hopefully next week I have some sort of work or to show you, you know, maybe some studio work or something. But until then, we'll just have to wait and see. So I'll see you guys later.